now we move on to third part pitch this distance is called pitch now let close examine what do you mean by pitch this is uppermost part this is another uppermost part this is called crest this is consecutive crest distance consecutive crest distance that means pitch may be defined as distance between two consecutive point on a crest that means pitch is the distance between two consecutive point on crest similarly we can again pitch may be defined as two consecutive points on root consecutive points on root that means this is the one point of the root this is another point this also this distance also marked with pitch that means pitch may be defined as pitch may be defined as the distance between two consecutive point on threads two consecutive points on threads that means crest to crest distance or root to root distance now we move on to another parts this is called flank this is called flank in between root and crest there is a slanting surface there is a slanting surface this slanting surface is called flank what do you mean by flank flank is a slanting surface on a thread that slanting surface lies in between crest and crest and root crest and root slanting surface in between crest and root is called flank now we move on to another term this is a v shaped profile now it have a particular angle different threads have different angles different angles some may be 60 degree some may be 55 degree some may be 45 degree some may be 47 and a half degree some may be 29 degree these are the general uh, threads angles used in engineering field some of i mentioned some of them i mentioned some of them the sum of angle that means this angle is called thread angle thread angle this is called thread angle thread angle that means an included surface angle of a v shape v shape ee v shape inde included angle ne yana nammal thread angle nu parayunnathu and first we draw a center line first we draw a center line what is the purpose of drawing a center line because this object is a symmetrical one symmetrical one that means this surface and this surface that means this horizontal line and this horizontal line major diameter lines are equally halves equally halves tullya agalathil aanu idu idu rendum center in ingotral distance ingotral distance so object is symmetrical one and this is called this center line is called axis of thread axis of thread this is called axis of threads now we have to define the term lead lead in this figure the term lead is same as that of pitch this is also lead pitch and lead is same in this figure 
now we have to explain elaborately what do you mean by lead before going to explain the tame lead tame lead we have to define pitch once more that means the pitch is the distance between two consecutive point on a thread that may be 3 mm or 5 mm or 6 mm or likewise pitch may be 3 mm 5 mm 6 mm maybe 0.5 mm maybe uh, 4 mm like that now we have to define what is the term lead lead in this figure pitch and lead is marked with the same distance this is lead this is pitch we can elaborate the lead by the help of this bolt and net now i am fixing this net on a bolt suppose it have its own pitch i say this is this distance pitch distance is 1 mm this distance is 1 mm i say that this pitch distance is 1 mm that means the pitch of this thread is 1 mm 1 mm now i am doing this net joined with a bolt now what happens i am rotating this net one complete revolution what will happen the net advances on a bolt in one complete revolution net advances at the one mm distance now again i will rotate one full revolution so it's again advances 1 mm now again one revolution it will advance one more mm that means totally 3 mm advance that means the tame lead is defined as when a net when a net rotates on a bolt that means lead is the distance when a bolt when a net on a bolt in one complete revolution adayathu oru net oru bolt le oru pravisham rotate cheythu kenjal net neengiya dooram net neengiya dooram adha adineyana nammal lead ennu parayam lead ennu parane kenjal idu bolt aanu idu net aanu idinoru pitch und aa pitch ennu parayunnathu njan ippa parayunu idinde pitch 1 mm aanannu vicharikkya suppose it should be 1 mm aanengil ee net ee bolt le vecha shesham oru pravishyam tirichu kenjal oru full rotation tirichu kenjal സ്വാഭാവികമായിട്ടും ഞാൻ ഈ ബോൾട്ട് മുറുകെ പിടിച്ചിരിക്കണം നെട്ട് ആണ് തിരിയുന്നത് നെട്ട് ഒരു പ്രാവശ്യം തിരിച്ചാൽ നെട്ട് അഡ്വാൻസ് ചെയ്യും അഡ്വാൻസ് ചെയ്യുന്ന ഡിസ്റ്റൻസിനെയാണ് നമ്മൾ എന്തെന്ന് പറയണത് ലീഡെന്ന് പറയുന്നത് മനസ്സിലാവണ്ടോ അപ്പോ ഈ ലീഡും പിച്ചും ഞാൻ ഇവിടെ മാർക്ക് ചെയ്യുന്നത് പിച്ചും ലീഡും മാർക്ക് ചെയ്യുന്നത് സെയിം ആയിട്ടാണ് മാർക്ക് ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്നത് അതായത് ഇതിലൊരു നെട്ട് വെച്ചിട്ട് നമ്മൾ ഒരു പ്രാവശ്യം തിരിച്ചു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഈ ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് മൂന്നാണെങ്കിൽ നെറ്റ് അഡ്വാൻസ് ചെയ്തതും മൂന്ന് മില്ലിമീറ്റർ ആയിരിക്കും ഇതിനൊരു കാരണമുണ്ട് എന്തുകൊണ്ടാണ് മൂന്ന് മില്ലിമീറ്റർ അഡ്വാൻസ് ചെയ്യുന്നതെന്ന് അത് നമുക്ക് നോക്കാം ഒന്നും കൂടി ക്ലോസ് ആയിട്ട് വാച്ച് ചെയ്ത് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഇതാ ഇതിൻ്റെ എൻഡിൽ ഈ 
thread form cheyidirikkunna oru particular point il nanu starting at the particular point avadana aanu ingane chutti chutti poyirikkunna thread appo ee ee bolt ni oru starting point ullu oru starting point ullu oru starting point ulla thread a thread having only one starting point such type of thread is called single start thread single start thread oru oru starting point ullengil adine nammal single start thread ennu parayunnathu appo idu moonamam pitch ulla oru oramam pitch ulla bolt aanu vicharikka bolt aanu vicharikka adile oru start e ullu ee net njan same thanne oramam pitch ulla thread aanu idilum cut cheyidirikkunnathu appo idile കണക്ട് ചെയ്ത് വെച്ച ശേഷം ഒരു ഫുൾ റൊട്ടേഷൻ വൺ ഫുൾ റൊട്ടേഷൻ തിരിച്ചു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ നെറ്റ് അഡ്വാൻസ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ടാവും എത്ര മില്ലിമീറ്റർ എത്ര മില്ലിമീറ്റർ അഡ്വാൻസ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ടാവുന്നത് വൺ മില്ലിമീറ്റർ ആയിരിക്കും അഡ്വാൻസ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ടായിരിക്കുന്നു എന്തുകൊണ്ടെന്നാന്ന് വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഇത് സിംഗിൾ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ആണ് ഇതിൽ കട്ട് ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്ന പിച്ച് വൺ മില്ലിമീറ്റർ ഡിസ്റ്റൻസിലാണ് വൺ മില്ലിമീറ്റർ ഡിസ്റ്റൻസിലാണ് അപ്പോൾ ലീഡ് എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ടൈം നമുക്ക് ഇങ്ങനെ ഡിഫൈൻ ചെയ്യാം ഹൗ ക്യാൻ ഡിഫൈൻ ദ ലീഡ് ദ ടൈം ലീഡ് can be defined as this is the distance advanced by a net on a bolt in one complete revolution oru pravisham net advance rotate cheyumbo net advance cheyna distance ne nammal lead ennu parayunnathu appo next time is lead this is the major important time lead now once again we repeat the te- terminology important terminology crest crest is the uppermost part of the thread is called crest lowermost part of the thread is called root and two diameter is here major diameter and minor diameter root diameter is called minor diameter crest diameter is called major diameter in between these two diameter one more diameter is diameter can be drawn that is represented by the center line in between major diameter and minor diameter in between major and minor we can mark a center line see this is a center line its diameter is called its diameter is called pitch diameter pitch diameter it is an imaginary diameter not real one it is an imaginary diameter not real one so almost all times are described here once again crest root pitch major dia minor dia pitch diameter we also is called imaginary diameter and lead flank thread angle these are the important terminology of a screw threads you understand mm-hmm. that okay